everyone. It is chicken wrangling time. So I'm going to load up a few chickens, take them to the auction. This ought to be fun. They always know when something's up. hold them upside down as I'm checking their vent see if it looks fresh or dry that looks dry then fill around and you can fill their chest and if their chest is kind of hard it means they're building a lot of muscle and they're putting energy into mu build muscle instead of laying eggs plus the comb is kind of dried up. So those are all signs that chicken may have not be producing eggs as often. That one got a presidential pardon. I think I'm going to put the camera down and help you. Like uh, Rocky, there's Jared. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name of our rooster? Our, name, our rooster's name is Jared. The polite explanation is that one rooster to all the hens. The real explanation is that this is one hen picked rooster. I go apologize to the chickens and give them one of their favorite treats and let these guys know they made the final cut. Jared. There you go. Come on, check out your girl. Make sure they're okay. Give everybody high fives. You all made it. You get to stay another season. They say mint is relentless for spreading and you can't cut it back at all. And if I could get mint to go inside the chicken run, 
that would give them something to peck at and bugs. You may have noticed my rooster doesn't have a comb. And that's because that is one tough rooster. It got in a fight with a raccoon and survived, but lost its comb. So that's why I keep that ugly rooster around, because it's, it's mean. <laughs> What are the farmer market hours again? On uh, Saturday mornings, they're at 7.30 till noon, and uh, Wednesdays, well, due to the construction right now, it'll be from 4 to 6 p.m. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thought of something I can do while I'm waiting for the garden to dry out, and that is that I need a frame to go around the hydrangeas and our name log. I'm just going to use two by fours, and I know I could go to Walmart or Sutherland's or any hardware store and buy a cute little uh, border, but here's my situation. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. So I try not to put too much money into my landscaping. I try to use what I have on hand and we happen to have some 2 by 4s we, We've taken down a few buildings out the farm and reclaimed some lumber and just different stuff. So I try to use that up before I go buy something. Also, when I'm planting stuff, I always try to do seeds first. Because you can wrap a lot of money up in plants. So I always try seeds first. And if that doesn't work, then I go for plants. But anyways, kind of off subject. I need a border around my hydrangeas. So that when Travis mows, it makes it easier on them. Plus, I need kind of a boundary to... Because hydrangeas will spread like crazy. So I need to make a definite border or where they have to stop and I'm debating on if I should just go ahead and get it done drag out the table saw or wait for Travis he likes doing stuff so I think he would like doing this but I don't like to always put everything on him so I've sent him a text hopefully he gets back to me soon recent events, a two by four is actually inch and a half by three and a half. <laughs> so if my two by four is three and a half inches tall, I would need at least double that for a ground stake because I drive the lawnmower and will hit shit. So if I'm doubling my 2x4, I need an 8 inch rod. <laughs> no, wait a minute. That's 7.5. No, that's not even 7.5. It's 7 inches. <laughs> I'll mark it with my short pencil. <laughs> <laughs> 